Hi, and welcome to the Flux channel. Today I'd like to show you some tips that will allow you to create a realistic stereo width effect on a mono source. If this kind of content interests you, feel free to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell. So I'm going to show you a simple tip on how to create the sensation of width on a mono source by using the Urcam verb. Here's a multi-track recording of a folk song. For this example, I'll use the lead vocal. I'll begin by creating an aux track on which I'll open the Urcam verb. I shall now disable the reverb and cluster functions and leave only that of the early reflections. This is a starting point and can of course be adjusted according to the source. I'll also activate the high density parameter and set the width of the early reflections to 180 degrees. Let's listen to the result. I am the key to the lock in your house That keeps your toys in the basement I am the key to the lock in your house That keeps your toys in the basement The source has been widened, giving a stereophonic effect, but we can further augment this, and to do so, I will use the stereo tool. The stereo tool is a freeware plugin that, among other things, allows us to control the width of a stereo source by using a mid sides matrix. For this, we will use the width setting in order to augment the width introduced by the early reflections that are generated by the Urcam verb. I am the key to the lock in your house That keeps your toys in the basement And if you get too far inside Here we can drastically change the width of the stereo effect on the voice now, let's listen with the rest of the instruments. I am the key to the lock in your house That keeps your toys in the basement And if you get too far inside I am the key to the lock in your house That keeps your toys in the basement And if you get too far inside You'll only... I find this brings a very interesting sensation of stereophony to the voice, adding another colour to our palette of sound creation by allowing us to intervene on the width of our mono sources with ease. To conclude, the advantage that this method offers over the majority of wideners is its compatibility with mono sources. I am the key to the lock in your house I am the key to the lock in your house. Despite this summation, the original vocal remains untouched. Another advantage of using the Urcam verb for this comes, of course, from the quality of its early reflections engine. We end up with a signal that is strongly decorrelated, without, however, affecting the original timbre of the voice. That's all for today. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe and activate the bell to stay informed of all future activities on the Flux channel. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. On that note, I'll see you soon in a future video.